um, Clarkson case and Phil Spector is, a, is another iteration of this same phenomenon. This man, this very unattractive man who worked behind the scenes, really didn't have the talent to do it on stage, would go after these L.A. women. When he was younger, he went after the younger, beautiful women, and then he went after the 30- and 40-year-old former beauties. And each and every one of these instances, Mike, he would express his anger and his rage when they would dare reject him. The reason they had anything to do with him, of course, you and I understand, is because he had power, and he had money, and he had connections. Cho had none of those things. He didn't have the power. He didn't have the connection. He didn't have the skills. He couldn't work a board and produce music. He wasn't a director. He didn't know people. He wasn't an agent. He was just an unattractive fellow. Couldn't talk. Wasn't particularly smart. And he wanted, however, tremendous ambition. He had tremendous ambition. And it is a recipe for disaster. And we, you're one of the few people who really articulates and talks about this. And I, and I appreciate it. Because the politically correct police do not allow us to do that. You, you talk about ignition factor. What do you mean by that? Um, it's a, I like the analogy because there um, is, all, whether you're making a nuclear bomb or lighting a fireplace, you know, you put the wood in there and you get it all positioned right and then pop it with an ignition factor. It's not gonna, it's not gonna catch on fire absent. The ignition factor is something that is temporarily there, meaning it's at the same time and something trips the trigger. I have reasoned, and b before they started doing the examinations of this, that we had just completed spring break. And you remember what they did on spring break this year? The networks, the, the, the popular media decided that they would talk about the debauchery of spring break. Because now it's epidemic. The police agencies around the, the, the country, uh, the, uh, the South Floridas, um, the, um, the Los Angeles, yeah, the area, all of these places. I mean, I mean they're, they're going crazy because kids are passing out uh, alcohol, toxicology, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, a lot of this. And this kid never went anywhere. Everybody went out having a good time. He sees this on television. And he reached that moment where that's all I can stand. I can't stand it no more. And that may have been the ignition. The other ignition factor was is that, and we often see this, is that there's something coming to an end in their life. And in this instance, it was the end of the school year. He was graduating. That was it. Where am I going to go? What am I going to do? There's absolutely no hope. You add to that a problematic brain chemistry. You add to that where you are the underperformer in that family and that otherwise very nice thing that promotes kids in immigrant families to do better. It's a wonderful thing. It's one of the things that made this country great. But if you're the loser on that, got the troubled brain chemistry, you're an unattractive guy, can't establish eye contact, add all of those things together, you put an ignition factor like we just finished spring break, everybody comes back tanned, happy, everybody's drinking, partying, but not me. Dr. Anthony Napoleon, we've about run out of time. Do you have a book uh, you can talk about or a website people can go to find out more? Well, thank you for asking. I have a book entitled Awakening Beauty, an illustrated look at mankind's love and hatred of beauty. And in that book, I have a chapter entitled Murderous Rage, and a chapter entitled Rich Man, Pretty Woman, where I look at the criminal justice system, and I cover all of the school shootings uh, that have occurred in the United States. And it's available, Amazon.com, just put in Awakening Beauty. And uh, the website is www.napoleonlegal.com. It is a real joy. Please come back and join us again. So much. Same here. I really appreciated it, Mike.
Dr. Anthony DiPoli, and joining us this evening on Speaking Up. Back with a final word after these messages.